Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. We are back in Colony Survival. Done some things in between episodes, one of which... <laughs> last episode we had the major flood. Man, that is difficult. Now in the last video in the description, I linked a YouTube video that I had used um, last season to push back the water. But this season, I actually, I did not use the tips in that video to push back the water. I actually did it the old fashioned way. And I will include some footage of that here. Maybe, maybe I'll include some footage, but I literally filled all of those water areas. Everything that had water down here, I filled up with dirt and then removed the dirt. So in the process, I destroyed a couple things I didn't want to destroy. All of our, the people that were working, mining and everything, all of that had to be taken up. All the beds had to come up um, because they seemed to retain the water. Even if I put dirt all around them, they would still, there were still water chunks kind of mixed in with the item, with the bed and things. So I, everything had to be deleted. And so, yeah, this was all replaced with dirt. It took forever, but I just wanted to see if I could do it. We've got our little safe water trough here. And we also have the old one up top. But uh, that was uh, <laughs> that was pretty funny. I knew I was playing with fire and I shouldn't have done it at the end of the episode like that. But oh well. Live and learn. Oh, and one of the reasons why I didn't do the kind of the cheat to push back the water is uh, a little dialogue came up as I was putting in a command to, to try and put a single bucket of water in my inventory. A command came up saying, oh, you got to disable achievements before you do it. And so I thought, well, maybe I don't want to do that. I, I usually don't care too much about Steam achievements. I don't think I've ever really pursued or even looked at Steam, ach <laughs> Steam achievements. But I'm like, ah, oh, maybe I shouldn't do it. Oh, and then I created another little water reservoir down here too. So we've got water down here. But oh, this was filled with dirt. And I had to chip it. I'll put dirt all the way in and then take the dirt all the way out and make sure I didn't leave any spots with water. Now there is a chance, there's a chance somewhere where there are dirt tiles. It looks like I got them all over here. Um, where there could be a hidden water tile lurking somewhere that could flood us out. Um, I only went down to the floor with the iron here. That's the last productive floor we had. I did fill all the other floors with dirt. You can see it down here. This is our old stairway. But you'll remember, we had three floors going down here, um, but we didn't find any ore or anything. So I haven't unburied this. You can see it's all buried with dirt. It was all engulfed in water earlier on. But man, it did take forever. I had some time. I just put a podcast on or something and, and, and took my time and filled it all up with dirt and then took the dirt out and the dirt acts like a sponge and takes up the water. Anyway, that's it for that part. Let's get up top and I'll show you some of the more productive work I've done. But this is all cleaned out. Uh, this is the first good place to start. This is our old stairway. When we were going um, 10 blocks per floor, I think we had like nine blocks here and then a floor. So we called that 10 per floor. I decided to change our floors to be four blocks high. One, two, three, four. And so I put in some new stairs. Uh, I got to fill in these old ones. We're not going to use those anymore. And then I've got the quarter blocks now, so we can run up the stairs without having to jump. That's super nice. I also, since I had to take up all our workstations that were down here, kind of the heavy industry stuff, I just, uh, I put them on the first floor down from the surface. I just shoved them here. We may move them again. I think this is roughly what we had. I may have put down another anvil. But I think we had three furnaces and three pottery stations. Um, and then I added some beds over here. Looks like these are all full. So yeah, we're going to get more organized on the beds. And then I've got someone over here, I think, doing the iron. No, this is our water gatherer, our original water gatherer here. Grab our original water gatherer here. This is not four down. It's one extra down. So this is the water reservoir we may fill up and get rid of because where I'm standing right now is really where the floor should be. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's get up. Where's the stairs? I need to put lights down here. Obviously it's pretty dark. Burrowed out a bunch more space. All kind of hand carved this out. That took some time. We're going to get the digger soon. I think 
think. We're going to look at the tech tree. The other thing I did is look at this. Boom. Yeah, I've been extending this big platform. Um, that is where we are going to put our farms. And we're going to keep going up, too, from there, I think. That's where I want to move the farms. So let's get to it. Anything else I can show? This pyramid, I think, may have been where it was last time. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, one more thing before we start diving in and moving forward. Um, I'm going to climb up here. Uh, let me climb over here first. The hedge. The hedge over here, it's working, but it's kind of, to me, it's kind of boring looking, right? I mean, it's it works. It's functional. So I experimented with another design over here. That kind of looks cool, right? Um, so in order to get through, you have to come through here, go far down, loop around, back, over, up, all over the place to get through. And we could just have multiple of those patterns at the entrance, at each entrance to our um, to our castle. The issue, and here's, here it is implemented, right? So that's what it would look like between the pyramids, right? And we're going to have two pyramids over there too. The problem is this obstructs our guards more than this does. Like this design of the hedge very intentionally keeps the zombies moving between the guards as much as possible this direction so that our guards have a clean shot. In fact, I may stagger the daytime and nighttime so that the night times... Oh, it looks like we actually maybe already configured that way, where the nighttime guards stared in here, and they've got a clear shot for this whole channel. I think once we get up higher, probably doesn't matter. I think they're less obstructed. I think guards up here can probably hit just about any zombie in the hedge maze over here. But down low... Whereas this guard would probably be able to hit a zombie right in that spot or the next one. Probably can't do it now with the hedge there. So I'm kind of torn whether I'm going to leave that there like this or not. Not sure. The other thing is while I've been digging underground, I will occasionally hear someone die. And I don't know if my zombies are getting through. And making it to the banner, at one time there was a ragdoll body right by the banner, and I think that's what happens when the zombies reach the banner. They kind of die, and they take um, a random citizen with them, I think. That's a theory. But every time I come up here and watch the zombies come through our maze, they never make it, you know, past this point. They never get that far. So I don't know if somewhere in the base we've creeped out into the danger zone and zombies are spawning in or maybe underneath and finding their way up. But we'll have to keep an eye on that. It's not a huge problem. And I hardly ever see it, but I have heard, like, people dying. And I don't think the zombies make a noise when you kill them, maybe. But anyway, so that's the update. We'll, we're going to move, this episode, we're going to move some stuff from down here up to that floor. So let's, uh, let's do that. We know we've got a flax farm, and we've got... What is this? Two or four wheat farms? We've got four wheat farms? Yeah, four wheat farms and two flax farms. Let's see about putting those up top. We got our stairway over here. I think I showed this last time. And we need to extend this down too. So we'll have the stairway in the middle that we just came from. And then we'll have a stairway in each one of these pyramids. Let's go up. This will all be filled in with beds for the guards. And then we need to poke through. Probably on each floor, we're going to need to poke through to let the guards um, get to their workstations or get to their, you know, perches or whatever you want to call it. We're going up to the top. Uh, I got to hop up on this one. Here we are. I added two more tree farms. We had this one last episode. I resized this to nine by nine, right, right up here. Uh, nine blocks of dirt by nine blocks of dirt, and that seems to work just fine. We did have it 10 by 10 before, so I resized this, and then I put 
because we're at an odd number, now we can put one of these storage crates right in the dead center. So I did that for decoration and for function. The foresters are need to walk to a storage box to drop off the wood they're collecting. We've got three of those. I'm thinking of just leaving this whole row to be wood. And then we can start another row here and do um, the farms. And for the berry farms, we can maybe frame it multiple. So we'll have a big plot of land and multiple berry farms in there somehow. We'll think we'll think that through in a minute. But for the wheat ones, the ones that are 10 by 10, we'll probably do dedicated planters like this. And then I kind of decided not to bother with um, putting the little quarter blocks down in front of these planters. I think it actually looks fine just the way it is. Now in season one, I had these guys. Whoops, not like that. It would have been like this kind of thing. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. The workers can get up here without the step. They don't need it. We have to jump to get up here, but how often are we really going to be going up there for any reason? And I just don't think these add enough for me to want to include them. And they do take up another block of space. So we're going to go without it. We'll stick with these little floor tiles. And so now we just need to decide where do we want to put our planters? Another thing I was wondering is should I be trying to center, <laughs> center this? I can't see the flag and I'm not too keen on counting all this out to see exactly where the center line is. Hmm. What could we do about that? I could, as we, you know, we're going to grow out that way. We're going to grow out that way and that way and that way. It might be nice to know where the center point is. So we can position these things right off the center. One thing we could do, we could go down. Take a look. Might be a way we can just kind of pillar ourselves up. And do it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Because we're going to be putting a lot of stuff down. I think this is obviously the very center of our colony. And we've got, or we have, the uh, perimeter walls right at the edge of the safe zone. So if I, let's turn on my light. Does that help? Nope. Uh, there it is. G. If I pillar right next to this thing. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, man. Hold on. You can use dirt to do the pillaring. Fill that up. Go back up. Try that one more time. Hit the wrong key. We're going to bounce like a nut. Hold the right click. fall from here I'm probably doomed I'm just holding the right click and the shift key okay and we want to be we want I think it's gonna be that one is where the flag is right this is not the flags so fill that with dirt that is where the center point is I believe now we can go back down. All right, center point's right next to us. I'm going to eat a delicious berry meal to heal up. Then we'll go up top and we'll see how we want to position these things relative to that center point. I may have to move the foresters if we want those perfectly centered too, but I can do that between episodes. It's not a big deal. Let's look, see, where is that center? There's the dead center, right? Boom. So we want to probably position just next to that, right? Something like here would be the part of a planter and then skip the center line and then another planner and then just extend out both directions. Now the question though is 
In fact, we could do it even here. We could maybe do the first planter box. Something like there. This one. That would be our frame. Do something similar here, maybe? Leave a little space in between. Planters out that way and kind of grow out from the center. That we will know will be kind of symmetrical as we band out. The next big question though is where do we put our kind of like the dorms? Where are these workers going to sleep? And where do we want to put the grocery station? And we've got a new tool station for them to pick up tools here, tool shop. Where do we want to put that stuff? Do we want to leave it dead center in the middle and leave space between these things? What about the dorms? Would they be on the outside or should those be in the middle? Lots of decisions. Lots of decisions. I think up here we're going to be too high up to shoot anybody. So I don't know that we're going to have guards up on this floor. I doubt it. Possible, but I doubt it. So let's do... Let's just start putting some fields down. These ones we want 10 by 10. We'll do it from here. So what is that? One, two, three, four. Okay, it's gonna be a wheat field. Let's go in. We'll save the middle spot, which is let's see. Oh man, these are hard to count with the patterns. They actually look pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be. Oh, 12 across. Yeah, this does need to be a 10 by 10. So we're going to have to do, I think, the two crates. Make it look nice. Right, makes sense. Cool, let's do it. Wheat field. Got four of these to make. Boom. Boom. They got the crates here. Do the next one. All right, I'm doing the crates mainly for an aesthetic, right? We only need one for them to drop off the wheat that they're harvesting. And it might even be less efficient to have them on the ground like this. I don't know if they have to hop down in order to, to put the material in there or not, but I'm doing it for the look. So you could just pop one on top if you want. But I'm going for a certain look, so I'm willing to put up with a little bit of inefficiency if that turns out to be the case. Uh, 
some on the dirt. Grab some more. I got tons. Believe me. Used a bunch when we flooded that underground. Another wheat, well, wheat farmer there. Yes, we can just do a whole row. We've got plenty of room. Let's get another one. I guess, what are we doing? We left a few spaces. Looks like three, right? Three blocks in between them. We'll do the same thing. Oh man, you knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. <laughs> oh man, ouch. Ouch. What do I lose? All my inventory? Do I lose all my inventory? Um, what did I have? Probably nothing terribly special. Oh man, that's a bummer. Yeah, I need to put up walls. I need to put up walls. Hopefully I have what I need. I think I do. Uh, while we're here, let's fire a couple of our wheat farmers. In fact, we can... We can take up all of these zones now. And I'll come back and clean the wheat up. Move area, remove area. Move area, remove area. We want these farmers to be available. I'll come back and get that later. Oh man, that was a bummer. That was quite a fall. It is likely going to happen again. So I'll just warn you ahead of time. This floor, by the way, the one that's not built out, this one we are kind of saving for guards uh, or dorms, basically. So we'll have a bunch of beds here. In fact, this could even feed the workers needed for the above floor. We'll see if this whole floor beds. Uh, that would be kind of interesting. We might do that. All right, I should put up a wall, right? But I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna try and be careful. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's right. Four. Okay. Yeah, we're right at the edge. Do I have flooring? I got a little bit left. I probably lost some of that. I did increase the, um, I think, the quota for the flooring. We should have more coming. And then I need crates. We lost some of those. And I need to make a sling. Let me grab one of these while I'm thinking about it. Because I don't want to be caught without ammunition. What else did I have down here? I had some berry meals. Let's do that. I can heal when I fall from not so high. And who knows what else I had. That's all I need right now. All right. One, two, three, four. Doop, doop. An eye out over there so I don't fall to five, four, five. Doop. Hey, there's our wheat farmers doing their thing. They took up the new plots. our frame. We're going to be super careful not to fall over this time. Yep. 
Okay, I'm out of the flooring. I got a little bit left. Not enough. Not enough to finish. Barely. Missing one. I'm missing one. Uh, I'm missing one. About right. Let's see. Making me a little dizzy. All right, that's the fourth one. Let's uh, get it set. We'll fix this little missing flooring block later. All just for looksies, anyway. Boom. That's our four wheat fields. Man, that takes up a lot of space, huh? Okay, and then what I'll do eventually, I'll move these. Uh, forester fields to kind of line up with these. Are we three apart, by the way? Let's see. Yeah, that's not bad. That's kind of nice, nice looking spacing. We can place these um, grocery stores and tool gather tool places. We can scatter those throughout. Uh, it's kind of awesome that this doesn't require a worker. Pretty happy about that. We can put those all over the place. Let's do... Do I have any on me? Here's the tool shops. Let's do those. And we've got the grocery stores. Let's do those right in the middle here somehow. Maybe there. There. Again, this is going to move over, so that'll be kind of in the middle of four big plots that are growing stuff. One's to get tools, that one's to get food. Then the beds, beds are TBD. We might, we could even put like a little stairway going down to the next floor right here. Uh, they could sleep on the floor below. Right, this is all going to expand out all the way. And down here is where we're a little constrained because we're inside the pyramids at this point. Not much room in here at all. But we'll have beds in here too if I can make them fit and have them look reasonably okay. I'm not going to shove them underneath there. But maybe we can get a few in here on this floor and then a little more here. And obviously a little more as we go down. Let's go check the, um, let's check the tech tree. And move that along here. Uh, science. Yeah, archery. Let's do it. Requires copper tools. Complete. This does not uh, increase our threat rating, so let's just do it. It's a no-brainer. Then we've got... Let's see what that unlocked for us. The Fletcher's Bench. Where does a colonist to work here as a Fletcher? I guess it's the people making arrows. We can craft bows. We can craft arrows. And then we've got two new guard types. And we have, uh, it's one of the prerequisites for an engineer. What else do we have here? The writer unlocks the writer parchment and scrolls of knowledge. These are important to complete more advanced science. Okay. Yeah. So these are like the science bag things. We've got the leather. We've got the copper tools. Let's complete that. Doesn't increase our threat rating. So it's uh, don't even have to think about it. Hey, there's the cook. That used to come earlier, I think. What does this take? Scrolls of knowledge. Yeah. So we're going to have to start using that. New thing we just unlocked that parchment paper and all that stuff. The writer statistics board, yeah. Scroll of knowledge. This guy, sacred fail safe, unlocks the sacred fail safe, an emergency tool that uses sacred points to eliminate monsters. Takes 50 colony points, um, doesn't increase our threat rating. Let's go see if we still have that merchant. We have, yeah, we still have it. Let's sell some stuff. I'm sure we've got plenty. Earthenware. I'm going to select that for selling. I'll sell two of those. That gets us 60 colony points. The science. 
And let's unlock the fail safe. Boom. What else? Stonemason. Nice. Stone rubble. We got plenty of that because I've been burrowing through rock. We have copper tools and we have plenty of linen. Doesn't increase our threat rating. We'll do it. Uh, it unlocks the blocks. These are the ones we used to use. And we'll probably be using these cobblestone blocks later too. I can't remember what this stone block is. Made at the stone brick bench. I don't know if I used those before or not. But here's the uh, gray quarter blocks for steps. And stonemason's workbench. Boom. Research that one. Scribe requires scrolls of knowledge, so we can't do that yet. Engineer requires scrolls of knowledge. Digger requires scrolls, <laughs> scrolls of knowledge. We want this guy pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. All right. What else? But yeah, I showed you the lay of the land. I think we might end this one here. What I'm going to do... What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish moving our farms up top if I can. Let's, uh, maybe let's take a stab at doing the berry fields up there before we close out this episode. Then you will have seen everything I'm thinking of doing between episodes. Let's uh, head up. We need to extend that mega floor. We're using it up pretty quick. But I think we have a bunch of the, this is wood wall material that we're using for flooring. I think we have a bunch of that in storage now. I upped the quota on that too. There's our wood flooring. We have more of that. Let me pop that on here and we'll make that fix. But yeah, 694 log walls. I'll extend this thing out. Uh, I'm holding down the control key now. Uh, we're already extended here. I'll extend it out this way. There's our spot. We got a patch. Wink. Yeah, I'll extend our platform out as far as we can with the safe zone where it is. And then uh, we'll put some more fields and things up here, I guess. Maybe we'll try and rely on the floor below for dormitories. Try it. Let's see. All right, let's see what can we do with the, um, with the berry fields, right? So if we said we wanted to stay... We can fix this to at least this one. Whoops. You, you there, you here. And then we want to keep track of this one. Let's do what do we have that we're not using. I want just this brass. And we'll mark that as kind of the center of the uh, center of this whole floor. So if we stayed three apart, one, two, three, and that was the corner of our new planter. We wanted to put berry fields in. Oh man, I know I'm gonna fall off. Dirt. That's where the field starts. Oh, I'm definitely gonna fall off, right? Super close. Let's just see if we can get an idea of what the size on this would be. Very farmer. We were doing doing like three by sevens or something. Yeah, three by seven. So maybe three of these fields per. Right? So that's two, three, one, two, three. Obviously, I can't frame this one in yet. We're just gonna to look. See if we can gonna work out. It's not gonna line up perfectly with these. That's okay. I'm okay with that. These are gonna be a little bit smaller. It looks like they're gonna be nine nine by seven? Yeah, nine by seven. Just like that, we'll have three on here. We'll put the crates. We could do the crates on the side too. 
if we want and try to keep going with that design. This one is, we'll be able to put it right in the middle there and in the middle here if we want. Because these are odd sizes. Yeah, so I'm going to move the stuff up here. I'm going to extend this platform between episodes. I'm going to move the berry farms up here. We're going to maybe, hopefully I'll have room for another row and maybe we can do a whole row of flax farms. We have one of those that we took up that we need to replace. And we'll save this spot over here for the foresters. And maybe if I have time, I'll move these around so they line up here, look a little bit better. Then uh, maybe I'll give some thought to the floor below adding floors. There's a lot to do. Adding, you know, extending this platform out. That's not too fun to watch. It takes forever. And then I have to build the other pyramids too. So I've got a lot of homework to do. For now, this is Glattercat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this series on colony survival. Our castle is starting to take shape. We're starting to get some structure. We'll eventually put supports in here as well to make this look like it's not, you know, not floating or being propped up by a couple, couple wood blocks, a couple wood blocks on the stairway holding up this entire platform. We'll start making it look better a little later down the road. And then we're going to wall this thing up too. This structure that we're on is going to have four walls around it. Heard my scrolling around here. Yeah, so far so good. We haven't increased the threat rating in a while, so it's a good time to just build. We don't have to worry too much. I'm going to take advantage of that. I will see you all in the next episode.